Hello. Today we are looking at the BU353N5 USB GPS receiver. So this is a GNSS uh, receiver which is the navigational system for Europe. And it also has GPS for America navigational system. As you can see, it has some specs, the name, uh, some more specs more specs on the back uh, and it shows all the satellites so it has one two three four four extra satellites that it can connect to and then uh, the operational systems it can work with linux mac android and windows so inside it will have the main unit which will say n5 so you can tell it apart from other units and it's also a USB. Inside there's also a suction cup and a quick start guide. So now I will show you how to use your BU353N5 on a Windows computer or PC. So first thing on your computer you would type in on your search bar device manager and it should bring up your device manager then you will connect the device once the device is connected it should show up on ports com and lpt as you can see right here where it says prolific pl2303gc USB serial COM port COM6 that is a device sometimes it will have an error which means it does not have the latest driver which you can just right click click update driver search automatically for drivers and it should install the latest driver if that does not work you can go to their website www.globalsat.com.tw and then up here you can navigate to support and then you can click the BU353N5 and then you can see right here they have the latest driver for Windows, Mac and Linux also from the same support page you can get a GPS info tool for Windows this tool is used to check if your device is working so click to download it. It should be on your downloads file. And then double click to open the application. And click more info. Click run anyway. Now you will need to check your device manager. It shows COM6. So on GPS info you will choose COM6 4800 baud rate. And click start GPS. As you can see, it shows NMEA data and each sentence starts with GN, which is the uh, GLONASS navigational system. If your navigational software does not support the GN sentences, it will not be able to read this. So make sure that your navigational software supports GN sentences. Now on the device, it will have a red light when it has power. The red light will be blinking when you have a GPS fix, meaning it is connected to satellites. If the red light is solid, it means it does not have a GPS fix. And it's recommended to put this device by a window or an open sky. So now that you know your device is working, you will simply close GPS info as the device can only talk to one software at a time. You will open your navigational software that um, you make sure it supports uh, GLONASS sentences. And then you will choose the COM port your device is on, 4800 baud rate, and it should work.